Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Fluffy Nimbus42. Thanks for the suggestion, Fluffy Nimbus. You asked, where do clouds go when they disappear? Well, if you've ever been lying on your back, watching a cloud that looks exactly like a giraffe wearing sunglasses, only to blink and poof, it's gone. You're not alone. Did it evaporate? Did it retire? Did it finally follow its dream of becoming a professional magician? Today, we are solving the mystery of disappearing clouds. Spoiler alert, it's not the same place as your missing socks. Let's find out right here on Explaining Everything. All right, before we talk about where they go, we need to understand what clouds are. And no, they are not giant sky marshmallows, even though they look delicious. Clouds are made up of teeny tiny water droplets or ice crystals. These droplets form when warm air rises, cools, and condenses around microscopic particles like dust or pollen. So, essentially, clouds are just atmospheric group projects where water and dust team up to make something big and fluffy. Some clouds look light and wispy, like delicate sky paintbrush strokes. Others are dark and moody, like they just heard some bad news. And then there are the giant thunderclouds. Mother Nature saying, buckle up, buddy. Now, let's get to the real question. Where do clouds go when they disappear? There are three possible answers. They evaporate. The cloud says, I'm out, and turns back into invisible water vapor. They merge with other clouds. They join forces with bigger clouds to become the ultimate sky overlords. They rain themselves out. They get too heavy, release rain, and disappear like your motivation on a Monday morning. Let's break these down one by one. Sometimes clouds just vanish. And no, it's not magic, it's science. When the air around a cloud gets warmer or drier, those tiny water droplets turn back into invisible vapor. It's like a celebrity sneaking out of a party before the paparazzi arrive. One second they're there, the next gone without a trace. But don't be fooled, that water isn't gone. It's still floating around in the air, waiting for the perfect moment to reappear. Just like that embarrassing memory from middle school that haunts you at 2 a.m. And let's not forget the wind. Strong winds can break clouds apart, spreading their moisture so thin that they become invisible. Think of it like a bad group hug. Everyone gets pulled in different directions and suddenly, the group is gone. Sometimes, instead of disappearing, clouds do the opposite. They bulk up. When warm, moist air rises, it can combine with existing clouds, making them bigger and puffier. Kind of like when you eat an entire pizza and suddenly need new pants. So the next time you see a small cloud fade into a bigger one, don't panic. It didn't vanish. It just got a promotion. This is how massive storm clouds form. A bunch of small clouds team up like superheroes assembling for the final battle. And before you know it, bam! Thunderstorm! And then we have clouds that don't just disappear. They go out with a dramatic exit, AKA rain. When a cloud gets too full of water droplets, gravity says enough 
and pulls them down to earth as rain, snow, or if nature is feeling extra spicy, hail. And just like that, the cloud is gone. It didn't disappear, it just changed form. And now it's watering your garden, filling up lakes, or making that one guy in flip-flops deeply regret his life choices. And here's a fun fact. Some clouds never get to rain. They just drift around, living their best lives, and then quietly evaporate. It's like a road trip with no real destination. Now, just to clear up some myths, here are some places clouds do not go when they disappear. Space. Nope, clouds are very much earthbound. If they went to space, astronauts would be up there dodging giant floating puffs of moisture. NASA would not be amused. Behind the sun, I mean, the sun is a giant ball of fire. If clouds tried to hide there, they'd last about 0.00001 seconds before being vaporized into oblivion. The Bermuda Triangle This place gets blamed for everything. But no, clouds don't mysteriously vanish there. If anything, it's just a really bad vacation spot for clouds. The Cloud Retirement Home. Sorry, but there's no secret sky resort where old clouds sip lemonade and reminisce about their stormy youth. So, what happens to clouds? It's all part of the water cycle. Water evaporates from lakes, oceans, and that puddle your dog just stepped in. It rises into the air and cools, forming clouds. Clouds either grow, disappear, or rain down. The cycle repeats forever. Oh, and a fun fact, some of the water in clouds could be millions of years old. That means the raindrop that hit you in the face today might have been around when dinosaurs were stomping around. Science is wild. So, next time you see a cloud disappear, don't freak out. It's still around just in a different form. Maybe it's floating around as invisible water vapor. Maybe it's in the middle of a dramatic rainstorm. Or maybe, just maybe, it's planning its comeback as the next big thundercloud. Either way, one thing is for sure. Clouds never really leave. They just change, kind of like fashion trends. And my ability to stick to a diet so, what do you think? Have you ever seen a cloud disappear weirdly? Thanks for watching, and remember, science is just magic that we understand. See you next time. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.